Um, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Luther FM, back with the Rafe Rover Save. And we start the the episode with some sad news. Obviously, I told you about it many, many times in previous episodes. But um, sadly, Collins Faye, one of my favourite players in this Rafe Rovers team, has left. He will be sorely missed. I will look to try and maybe bring him back in the summer or next season at some point. But yeah, for now, he has left us, uh, left a big gap. But Pablo Henrique is his direct replacement. And he has come in. Um, looked pretty good, 28 years old, a bit younger. Decent, okay crossing, could improve a bit, I think. Um, I don't know whether he's more suitable. He's more His favourite position is defensive midfielder, but we can have him as a wing-back. So hopefully he'll play there. Um, but yeah, we'll just put him in the mentoring group. Uh, need to do this as well, I forgot to do this earlier. Right, we've got he's five in the uh, Scottish Cup fourth round. Hopefully if we do well there, we'll uh, get some more money in the bank. Taking ages. I think there's been an update in the last couple of days and today when I've been recording videos, it's just taking ages to process through the days. I've got a really good gaming laptop as well. So it usually just... Uh, I mean, I say ages. Everybody else would probably say it's still quite quick. But there's definitely a difference in performance. How many leagues have I got on here? I've got quite a few. Most of them I'm not going to... I'm not going to manage in any of them, I don't think. Um, let's get rid of Netherlands and Portugal. Not that it's going to make any difference at the moment but it will improve the speed slightly I think and we'll get rid of that and that and that get rid of these get rid of that one get rid of series C hopefully we'll see a big difference in performance um, come July time but yeah like I said usually takes like about a couple of seconds at the most process through the days so uh, we brought in Taylor but for some reason, because he's young, I think the assistant managers want wants to send him out on loan. I thought when we valued you at five million, it stopped people bloody sell for asking price. So surely they shouldn't be allowed to. Oh, there must be a way of automatically. There's gotta be a way here, isn't there? No. Oh, I was hoping it would put people off making offers. Right, we signed another left back. Durate, the South American player on the left flank. So I think we're more than covered now in the full box position. But we are slightly over our wage budget now. But we can't do anything about it because they won't let us shift the money from one to the other. Let's see if we can get a new contract, improve coaches' wages, and there we go. Do that one as well. We got any clauses to cash out? No. Okay. Yeah, we know you're not happy, but you're not leaving. So get over it. Alright, we've got Kings in, let's buy him. Yeah, there we go. Another good full back that we can play as centre back as well. Experienced player. Let's put him in the mentoring group. If I can figure out where it is. Where is it? There we are. It's a bit difficult with these backgrounds to see the writing on half the time. Oh bloody hell, Deli Alley out for six, three to six months. That's him done for the season. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So let's have a look at our recruitment focuses now. 
Uh, we're right in that position. We do need a, another centre back, I think, maybe. Just to be on the safe side. What about you? Mm, what's your wages? Oh, maybe. James Claridge would be a good one. I've, I've managed him before. He's pretty good. But he's on loan, so we can't sign him for this season. What about you? We'll add you to the shortlist. Right, okay. Fine, we'll bring him in. So that'll be all the defence covered, and then we just need to get a, a decent striker. We'll have a look at the loan market in, in a second. Right, let's have a look at the loan market, strikers, player search. Let's have a look see if we can bring in a free transfer first. Um, get rid of these. Do contract status unattached. Why is nobody coming up? Oh, that's why, you dopey son. Right. Any recommendations? No? Oh, there you go. That's what I wanted. Recommended. Graham Burke. How old are you? 31? That's what we do for now. What about you? Oh, hold on. There we go. Uh, Muma Brajanak. I'd rather sign players than seize a fringe player. Uh, I can't believe, I just saw Cameron Jerome. I can't believe he's still bloody playing. Caden Jackson. Did the right at Ipswich, I think. What would he be? Would he be a fringe player as well? Fringe player? No, we don't want fringe players. We want first team players. Um, let's just get rid of that, and then we go, so try transfer list, let's see who's on the transfer list, maybe we might be able to get a bargain. Zero players found. There's no strikers on the transfer market. What? What's happened here? Loan? Huh? Okay, let's just do that, any. Do this and then do that. We've got no players that want to come to us on loan. Do I bring in Roque Santa Cruz? There's only three transfers that are, are that are, right. Maybe we could sign Roque Santa Cruz and he can just he can just. Play him for the rest of the season. 43 years old. Impact sub. No. I don't, I don't want him if he's an impact sub. Ugh. What do we do? What do we do? Yeah. Striker. We go advance forward. Because I think that's the position we play in that tactic. Okay. Right. What about recommendation? Any recommendations? Oh, pardon me. No, no recommendations. Right, so next thing we do then is we go international and we do this. Oh, no, sorry. There we go. We'll scout you. What's one in? Player. Scout you. Dominant in Republic. None of these will be any good, I reckon. We'll be lucky. So we'll try and sign you. Nah. I guess we're just going to be stuck with what we've got, I think. Unless the DOF can come out of nowhere. But we'll see. We'll soon find out. But at least we're getting some decent players coming in to replace what we've lost. I was worried that we wouldn't have enough in the wage budget to get every position covered. 
Musqui and Vaughan can probably play up front for now if we don't. Dale Taylor, I suppose, if he doesn't go on loan, we can have him. We've got that Urban at the DOF sign who's adequate for now. I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to win the championship, I think, even if we don't particularly play well the rest of the season. I think we'll do enough. And then in the summer, we can hopefully have a bigger wage budget and we can figure all that out. God, it's taking forever. Right, um, Kingsley can make his debut as left back. Uh, Warner and Velasco in the centre back position. Barden in goal. Swanson on the right. Pablo Enrique makes his debut as well. Zulaga, isn't he supposed to have been gone? Oh, 26 the first, so he's going soon. And then we've got Musqui on the right. Taylor's making his debut as well. So we've got a few debuts coming uh, today. So that's exciting for the fans. Arnett makes a, a rare appearance as well. So let's just see how we get on. Four players to make their, well, three players to make their debut. And Durati's on the bench. So we've got decent cover as left back. Decent enough on the right back position, I think. Um, so yeah, so we'll be all right. I think I might get rid of Gail Cleesey in a minute. In fact, I'm going to do it now before I forget. We've got enough left backs. Oh, he's injured. Have we already released him? Have we already released him? No, he's injured. Right, you are out of here. So we're right for left backs. How are we doing for... Yep, yeah, so we're doing alright for left backs. How are we doing for right backs? Yeah, so we're alright for right backs as well. If need be, Henri, Henri can play as right back. Even Dominic Ball can play there for now. Mason, when he comes back from injury, can play there as well. So, yeah, it's fine. It's all good. It's all good, baby, baby. Right. Notorious B.I.G. There we go. All right, let's see how we get on. Let's beat Lelujo's team. I don't want to lose to Lelujo at East 5. Get on. Corner to us. See if we can get it back. That's fine. Durati. Uh, Durati? Is he playing? Oh, Durati. He's playing as left back. Wasn't Kingsley there? I don't know what the hell's happened. Has Kingsley had to come off already? No. Oh, I don't know. Originally it said Kingsley, but then for some reason... Uh, anyway, let's just stop talking. Right. There we go. Musqui. Pablo Enrique with his, with an assist on his debut. Good, good, good. Maybe he could be like... Enrique could be like the replacement for Zulada in midfield. When Dominic Ball and Fleck aren't playing there. Gives us cover that in centre midfield, which I wasn't expecting. So that's good. Right. Oh, the goal got disallowed. Damn it. I didn't even realise. Oh, Swanson. Oh, just over. Still nil-nil. Towards the end of the first half. We have been the dominant team though. Arnott. Drives it forward. Get in. What a goal. Pablo Enrique does get his... Uh... Oh. They said Pablo Enrique on there. I don't know what's going on today. It says on the big screen, Pablo Enrique with the assist, and then it gives it to um, Musquery. Anyway. 1-0 up. Swanson with the throw in. Pablo Enrique. Zuilaga. Back with Zuilaga. 
Yeah, there we go. Musgrave. Get in. Maybe we don't need a striker. Maybe Musgrave Musk can do the job. At least for the end of this, towards the end of the season, anyway. I know he's on the wing today, but yeah, Dale Taylor might impress me. Hopefully, good prospect from Notts Forest, Nottingham Forest. Sorry, don't say Notts Forest. Nottingham Forest fans get very upset. Another goal for Arnett. Um, yeah, Dale Taylor, former um, let's have a look. I think it's Nottingham Forest. I think that's who we signed him from. Yeah, not in the forest. Three nil up. Hard up with two goals as well. Tyler not scoring, so we will put on Irwin. Warner's knackered, so we'll take you off and we'll put on Kingsley. Can we take you off, Swanson? No, just got, you just gonna have to keep going, Swanson. Not long now, buddy. Musquee, the corner. Great header by Velasco. Velasco, Velasco. Musquee has been really good this game. A goal, two, a goal and two assists. So, man of the match so far. There we go, Musque. Oh, I nearly got his hat trick. Did he get a hat trick? Has he got two goals or is it two assists? Oh no, sorry. I nearly got his second goal of the game. Right, let's see this game out now. Have we got one more goal with us? Mm, maybe. Swanson with a beautiful cross. Right, that's up then. Good debut for the players. Started that game. And Arnett did really well as well. He hasn't played many games this season, but he's a good young prospect. So it's nice to see him doing well. Gal Cliche out the door. We are through to the next round of the FA, uh, Scottish FA Cup. We get 8 million. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of money in that Scottish Cup. For anybody who doesn't know, um, I have got this editor file that gives Scottish clubs more money. So, yeah. It's not realistic, it's not like real life, but at least it makes it a little bit more even playing field. The Scottish clubs with like like English clubs and stuff like that, so it makes it more interesting. Right, so I'll be back in a minute for the final part of the episode. Uh, oh, just, yeah, bear with us. And we're back for the uh, second and final part of this episode. Hope you're all having a lovely Sunday. Um, try and enjoy it while you can. Everybody will be back at work tomorrow, so make the most of it. But, um, yeah, Harvey Warren signed this man here, good little centre back. Just going to welcome him to the club. We're playing Livingstone, Liv hold on, let me get this right. Livingston, Livingston, I apologise, any people from Livingston. We are playing them next game. Uh, striker, there we go. He'd be a good signer. Can we go for him? I think they want a bit too much for him, to be honest. We'll insist 1 million. We'll insist 2 million installments. There you go. We play hardball and we won. Can we get him on low? <gasps> We're going to bring back Hoyland. Um, we can we can say goodbye to him. We're not signing you. Too much money anyway. We draw. There we go. Mm, no. Right, so he didn't get a work permit initially, but maybe he will on the appeal. Things he's out for two weeks. Uh, you're going soon, so there's no point doing anything with you. Uh, I'll add him to the shortlist, add you to the shortlist. Praise you. Uh, called you up to the first team. I feel like we've got a stronger team now. And oh, we have signed him. Appeal come through. So we've signed him. Good little backup striker. 
Better than Irwin anyway. Dale Taylor's gone on loan. So it's a like for like swap basically. Um, Ball's not happy because we changed his squad status. Right then. They've accepted the loan offer. Good. I don't know whether that loan will go through now. Or oh, I should do is not the end of the transfer window yet. One week. Oh, I'd love it if we can bring Hoyland back. Right, Graham Burke. He'll be good as backup and a few options. Right, let's see how we line up for this game. Ruse in goal, Pablo Henry, Enrique's right back, Velasco, Velasco, sorry, and Warner as centre back for partnership. Diarte is left back, Ball and Fleck in midfield, Lopez on the right, Maldini in the middle, Kinder on the left, and Musque up front. And we've got Burke and Harvey Warren on the subs bench, so they might come on at some point. Partick Thistle we're playing now. Partick Thistle currently bottom of the Scottish Championship. We are currently 25 points ahead of second place Dunfermline. What's, uh, let me do some quick math. I can't do it in my head, so I'm going to use my calculator on my phone. 25 divided by 3. So we can uh, we can basically afford to lose 7 games and still probably win the, the championship. So um, at the moment we're still quite... How many games have we got left? Let's have a quick look. Right, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... 14, 15, 15 games, I think. Hold on, let me do it again. Oh, let me just do it like this. This will be the easiest way to do it, won't it? Okay, so we'll do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 14 games. So, in five games' time, we will. if we keep winning every game, we'll clinch the championship. We'll clinch the championship with a victory against Aberdeen on the 8th of March. We've still got a while yet. The sooner we clinch the title, the better, because then we can just basically just holiday for the rest of the, the league season. Get it done. But, I mean, they're going to score now. Hamilton, former one of our one of our former players, getting his 27th goal of the season. See, the same B+, plus, but only sign as a last resort. That don't make sense to me. I might re-sign him. In fact, I will re-sign him. Even if it's like, even if he doesn't end up playing, it, it weakens past it Thistle. So there you go. Not that they need weakening, they're already weak as it is the bottom of the bloody league, the bless them. But I think Jack Hamilton getting like 28 goals in a season, I, th I, think, I think you need to sign players like that. It's like a reward for them playing well. Should have put a buyback clause in his deal when we sold him in the first place, but I didn't think he, I didn't think he'd mount too much. He was all right for us in the first season in charts because he get, he got a few headers. He was pretty good at doing that, but he didn't get as many goals as he's done for Partick Thistle. Right. Other than them scoring, we seem to be doing way better than them. Here we go, Enrique. Come on, cross it in, mate. Don't lose it. There we go. Beautiful now. That's a beautiful cross. Oh, come on. Kinder, should have done better than that. Is Lewis Vaughan on the subs bench? No, he's still not back from injury, I don't think. Oh. Ambitious free kick there. Easton, another one of our former players. How's he doing? 
I'll have a look at some point. I think that's Eastern, that former player. Ball. Velasco. Warner. Girati. Loses the... Ah, oh, there we go. We've still got it back. Come on. We need to be doing better in this game. We need to be creating more... Oh, what a ball. That was a beautiful ball to Kinder. Yes, get in. John Fleck. Why is old head? Right, our throw in. We've got the ball in possession. Lopez. They're pretty good at crowding our players. Um, so they're doing well defensively to stop us from playing our game, how we like to play it. But I think the later the game goes on, the more tired they're going to be, and I think then we can take advantage of that. Maldini. Ooh, good save by their goalkeeper. Corner to us. Maldini with the corner. Floats it up. Yeah, nothing comes from it. Right, Musqui, come off. Uh, where is he? Graham Burke, you can come on. Nardini, come off. Dandy, you can come on. Who else? Lopez, you can come off. I think. Uh, no, we'll leave, we'll leave that. We'll leave that for now. Right, we've got to throw in. Fleck, Girate. Warner loses the ball. Jesus Christ. There we go. Well done. Kinder. Burke. Across to Lopez. Lopez drives it forward. Gets tackled but gets keeps possession. Ball. Get in. Go on. Fourth goal of the season for Dominic Ball. 2 1 up. Never in doubt. Never worried. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Dominic Ball. Thank you very much. Fifth goal of the season. Get in. Right. Who have we got on the subs bench that we can give some game time to? Warren. Let's have a look. Let's go on tactics here. So, Warren, you're a right back, so we'll put you on for Enrique. I oh, know we won't, that's not a good idea. Uh, Valesco, you can come off. Warren, Arnett, we'll put you on. Uh, put you on for Fleck. We don't like that. Can we swap Fleck with Dander? Can we swap Dander with um, Arnett? Mm. Mm. Oh no, we've balls up there. Hold on, let's do that. That. No, it doesn't like that either. Let's do that. Uh, you go there. Better. Okay. Free kick to us. Dander floats it into the box. Dominic Ball, will he get his hat trick? Oh, Dander runs into a brick wall. Ball again, though. Just playing amazing. Going all, coming all the way back to the end of the pitch to get that ball there. Fair play. Girati, Warner, Dander, Warren. There we go. That's it. That's it. Give a few more touches to Warren. Let's get his confidence up. That wasn't a good pass though, Warren. Come on. There we go. Intercepted by Lopez. Lopez galloping past. He's going to come in and shoot from... Oh, no, he's not. Oh, Arnett. Oh, there we go. Got the rebound. Arnett with his third goal of the season. Seems to be doing well. Played the last game, scored two goals. This game he scored one after he come on. Uh, nice victory here. Enrique's coming off. Swanson's coming on. Kinder. Oh. 
come into us on it taking our time now wasting it wait uh, just clock watching here at this point just trying to see the game out Swanson drives it forward though get in on it with another goal two goals again he's a good little player he is on it let's have a look let's offer him a new contract Right, hopefully this is the last highlight of the game. Let's just get on with it, come on. Come on, ref. Hurry up, blow the whistle. There we go. This will be the last highlight of the game, I think. Come on, let's get it done. There we go. Sorted. 5-1. Beautiful. Right, let's have a look at the league table now. We'll, have, we'll assess it. So, we are... 66 take away 39. That's 27, isn't it? So we're 27 points ahead. We have got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13. So 13 times 3 is 26, 39. So in, we're 12 points away from winning the title, I think. So we've got four games left. So we've got four wins left to clinch the title. Yeah, we'll uh, re sign Jack Hamilton, I think. Just because I like holding good strikers. Uh, yep, Zulaga's gone. Good luck in your the rest of your career. What are we doing for time? I'll just do the transfer deadline day and then that'll be the end of the episode. We'll just see if there's any transfers coming in or out. Yeah, transfer deadline day is today, I think. Is that correct or have we already gone past it? Doesn't feel like transfer deadline day. There's no like countdown or anything yet, so I don't think we're there yet. Uh, tactics, where are you? Penalties. There you go, and that's that, okay. Hopefully we can sign Hoyland on loan before the window shuts. But uh, as always, thank you for everyone that uh, I know transfer window closes here. Thank you to everyone who's been subscribing, watching the videos. Um, I much appreciate it as always. I know I keep dro droning on about it, but I feel like I need to say it at least once or twice every episode just to you know let you know. So we have four of our players in the championship team of the week: Kinder Arnett Lopez and Pablo Enrique. There we go. We signed him. Jack Hamilton back at the club would make a sense when you think about it. If he scored, he scored like seven, 27 goals so far this season. So it's definitely better than Irwin anyway. Irwin is rubbish. Ah, oh, Arnett's out for two weeks. That's annoying. Henrik is out for a few days. Hamilton won't get any game time anyway. Um, if we get Hoyland back on loan, it'll be it'll be like. Hoyland and then Muskwe as the two main strikers for us. And then maybe Hamilton as backup. Playing in the Trust Trophy semi-final. 
I'm going to rotate the players for this game. Hamilton might end up playing this game. If I do a full rotation, which I'll probably do. But yeah, I just realised this. We've got a Ruse and a Ross. Kelly Ruse and, and Logan Ross. For a second, I thought we had. I thought they were brothers. Right, come on, hurry up. No, we're not selling you Dylan Court. You can bugger off. I don't know why Aberdeen are so obsessed with signing him. Oh, let's sign a new contract. Lewis Vaughan's back. Mr. Rafe Rovers. Uh, I think he's our top goal scorer at the moment because Hoyland left us. But if Hoyland comes back, I don't know whether that means he'll go back to being our top goal scorer for the season. Hopefully he does. Yeah, Lewis, Lewis, Mr. Rafe Rovers, Lewis Vaughan, we've missed him. He was out for three months. Good influence on the uh, in the team. So, what the only original? I think the only original Rafe Rovers player I've got left in the team. I could be wrong on that one though. Oh, other than obviously Arnett, like the young players, but from the original first team I had there, at Rafe Rovers, Lewis Vaughan's the only player that stayed there. I'm trying to sign Lewis Vaughan in uh, in my offline save with Reading. He's become one of my favourite players on FM. Why is this taking forever? Uh, no. We're taking you off the loan list now. You're a first team player now. We'll do this and we'll do that. And then we'll go squad player. Ah, uh, we might not get Hoyland because of the work permit issue. First of Feb. Uh, let's keep going then. I might have to play this game against Partick Pistol in the semi-final. Just to see if Hoyland will come to us. Actually, no, I won't. We'll wait till tomorrow. We'll wait till then. Yeah, we'll wait till tomorrow for that. Be a little cliffhanger for you. I hope, you, I hope people watching this are getting as much enjoyment out of this than I am. Um, it's a nice little save. I'm enjoying this. Come on, hurry up. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your Sunday before I before I go. Um, make the most of it. Like I said, I hated working Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, because weekends were just so depressing for me in a way, because they soon come and go. Right, so... One of our players, Gary Root, who's doing reasonably well on loan, only 16 years old. Oh, I don't know, we called him back up. I don't think we've recorded him. No, we haven't. Uh, it's currently on loan at Sterling Albion, doing all right there. And then Jack Hamilton got the player of the month, who we've just signed. Should we sign him as well, just to take the myth? Nah. I, I win the manager of the month. Recalled O'Connell because I'm going to send him. There we go. Hoyland's come back in. Excellent. Um, we need to register him in the squad. Oh, are we not able to do that? Don't tell me we can't. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me just check this right. No, so he's definitely coming now. Right, let me just go to the next game and let me see if we can actually play him. Let's get this transfer window done, I think. Yeah, we can. Whew, panicking then. 
So we did that. But we're not going to do that anyway because we're going to do rotated. In fact, I'm just going to do instant result for this game. Oh, Hoyland is playing. Spike. So we'll just do that. We'll just do this. We'll just do it for this game. Instant result it. See what happens. It's not a game I'm that, that bothered about. It's a trust trophy. What is that? It's not, it's not one of the main Scottish clubs. So there we go. Hoyland gets a goal. Irwin scores as well. And Burke gets a debut goal. Right. So we're going to save it in a second. I'm just going to check. No. So Hoyland doesn't end up going back to top scorer. So it will start again, I think. Which is a bit annoying. Right then, on that note, I'm going to call it a day. Thank you to everyone. Um, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, like I said. And I'll be back on tomorrow to start a new week. All the best. Bye.